hello welcome back uh, in this video I'm going to be going through one of the exercises from a book called game hacking it's a book that I'm studying from as well as another book called CSAPP uh, but yeah my plans are to cover the exercises from these different books and maybe make videos on them anyhow uh, in this exercise it's pretty simple you need to download the file and then run the file called basic memory and then use cheat engine uh, and then we've got to find the x and y coordinates of the grey ball and then place them into a black square it gives us some hints so one of the hints is that it uses a 4 byte value type uh, so like an integer and then the next one is that it's stored uh, in a static uh, location so look for one of the green results um, so I've got the file here, I'm just going to open it and run it and then just see what it will do exactly. So we need this grey ball to go into this black square here and yeah so it appears that we can't get it out of the orange box. So once it hits a corner you, just, you can't move it I think. Um, Okay, so we need to find the X and Y coordinates. So I'm just gonna open up Cheat Engine. Uh, run as admin. And I'm gonna attach this to this. And this is quite a simple task. Uh, and then we're gonna do the first scan with an unknown initial value because we don't know the coordinates of the gray ball. And we're gonna run first scan. And we get uh, two million results. So now I'm going to start moving this grey ball up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the value by 1 <coughs> and I'm going to keep moving it up and that should reduce the number of results that I get here and we should be looking for value inside of a static address so we have these two uh, here but they don't seem to uh, interesting to me because I know for a fact that this isn't at the Y position 5 um, it should be more than 5 I'll try modifying it regardless um, but let's see what happens yeah it just changes to 11 And actually, it changes each time I click out of the window and click into the window. I noticed that when I just uh, went back into this window. So it's definitely not that. Um, so now I'm going to do a new scan because we know that uh, pushing up and increasing as we go up does not give us the value. So what if we decrease as we go up? Because it could be that the Y starts up here and starts at zero and increases as it goes downwards. Or we could start up here and increase as we go downwards on the right or the left side. Um, at the moment we don't know which side it would be on. And we determine that by finding the X uh, coordinate. So let me let me try and increase as I push it down. So first I'm going to have to do an initial value, run the first scan. I'm going to be increasing it by 1 each time we push down. And hopefully it should narrow down the results that we get. Okay, so there are four that look interesting. And I think these it's got to be one of these two. Uh, probably this one because it's... No, wait, this one. So if we change this to 20, yeah, this this is the X, sorry, the Y of the grey ball because we change the value and we see that the ball moves. So let's bring it back into our square. Um, let's and now let's find the X coordinates of this. So we're going to have to run a new scan again unknown initial value and we're gonna have to start pushing it uh, I'll push it to the left and I'm going to be starting off by 
decreasing the value by one for each time that I push to the left um, on the assumption that the y and x axis stop at the start at the top left rather than the top right. Uh, we could try it the other way if this one doesn't work. So I decrease value by one, and I'm just going to keep pushing it to the left. And here we see two values that look suspicious. So I'm going to take this, uh, the lower one, because the grey ball is closer to the left than the white ball. And I'm going to change this to, let's say, 5. We see that the grey ball moves. So we've now got our x and y coordinates. Uh, and the objective is to put the grey ball inside of the black box. So I'm just going to modify these to the values that we need. Okay, so this should be 3 actually. And I think 2 more. And yeah, it says good job you've completed the first lab. Um, this is just uh, me going through the first lab, and I plan to cover more of the exercises from these books. So next we've got pointer scanning, and then I think uh, some debugging at this chapter. Uh, and I'll probably make videos based on the exercises provided from this book. As well as that, I might also do some uh, videos on the practice labs from the computer systems or programmers perspective. That's a really good book and it's also a really good YouTube uh, course in that. I'll just uh, go to it now. If I could find it. Yeah, so this is one of the video series that I'm going Hello through. Everyone. Yikes, that was loud. But this is the video series that I'm going through. It's basically the lectures from Carnegie Mellon University and it uh, follows the structure of the book called CSAPP. And it's really quite interesting. Um, so yeah, as I'm going through this, I'll probably release videos on some of the exercises from this as well. Uh, anyhow, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, uh, yeah, thank you for watching and bye.